Hey there, my fifth grade Langley Leopards. I miss you guys so much. Mrs. Clark has been telling me all the great things that you guys have been doing. Make sure you're being respectful to her. Even if she does something a little different than me, that's okay. She's your teacher right now. I'm very proud of you, but I want to make sure that you're slowing down and you're doing what you're supposed to. So today you're going to make a stained glass tree. We're working on space and we're working on following simple directions. So the way you're going to do this, a stained glass is kind of when you put glass together um, and it looks like it's broken up into little pieces. So I'm going to first draw my tree trunk and I'm going to do it kind of wavy. You can do your straight and I'm going to make my first branches go all the way to the outside. Then I'm going to have this one going up. I'm going to make this one going up. And I'm going to keep going and then I'm going to cross it here. So all you're going to do is you're going to start making branches that touch others. This one's going to go through. Maybe I'll make, I don't want them all going in the same direction. Now don't go crazy and make a hundred branches in there. Just make a few. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About 10 to maybe 13, 14, 15. All right, so after you have that, you also want to break down your space in here. So now you can see all my space is broken up. You guys are going to trace with the black Sharpie marker. I'm going to be tracing with a black crayon because I forgot my Sharpie marker in the other room. So you're going to take your black and you're just going to trace it nice and neat over all your lines and I'm going to tell you to go back and make your lines that you trace a little bit thicker. And remember that word thick is just wider so you can really see it to make it look like stained glass, like it's glass that's put together. All right, so you're going to trace all of your lines. You're going to color in your tree trunk with the black marker. That's the only thing you're going to color in. You're going to trace everything black and you're going to color it in with Sharpie. Next week, you're going to color it real dark with crayon. So, make sure you guys are following directions. I really want you to focus on that this week. You're amazing, you're creative, but this will help you think, slow down, be respectful, make great art, and I'll see you in just a couple weeks. You'll start today, finish next week. Everybody say, yay art, yay.